my plan tentatively was to um, go up to Paradise Meadows and there's been snow overnight. Um, there's a north northerly storm that came in uh, over the week and uh, I thought oh yeah that'd be great get up there in the sun uh, it's gonna be beautiful and it will be I can tell looking up at the mountains there's uh, um, you know that frosting on all the trees and it's pretty gorgeous but the thought of driving up there and the uncertainty around how cold it is whether I'm prepared it doesn't put me in mind of the reason that I do landscape photography. So I've decided to come to uh, a kind of a secret forest I know of and um, just take my time. But of course as I was coming down the road to where that forest is, I saw along the side of the road here uh, an area that's still in frost. And I thought, you know, it's kind of a seize the moment uh, opportunity. Um, right on the edge of the road here is cars going by, but I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna get out my vintage lenses. I'm gonna look for some, some bokeh, some sparkling in the grass opportunities and just see what I get. Now I've come to a forest that uh, I discovered recently. Um, it's right beside a highway and there's no um, markings or anything like that. But it's, uh, it's actually a relatively old forest. Um, some of the trees here are probably a hundred years old. Um, so I'm not sure why it's here and why it hasn't been logged yet. But uh, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> uh, for the time being until uh, it disappears like so many other forests here on Vancouver Island. Um, and today in particular I've come to look for mushrooms and uh, the Mycena mushrooms, the little mushrooms that stick up on the top of logs. Um, I've seen a few of them here. There's a stump nearby here which uh, I really like. Um, I, I tend to look at uh, some of these um, nursery logs um, and uh, sometimes along the top of those nursery logs is where I'll find those those lovely little mushrooms sticking up. I've noticed quite a few who are past today, so I have a feeling I might be doing a, a fair bit of hunting to find some in good in good shape. But you know that's part of the fun, isn't it? So, anyways, um, when I find something worth looking at, I'm gonna show it to you. I noted at the beginning of this video that I just didn't want to face the cold and carloads of people that were likely up at Paradise Meadows. I said it wasn't conducive to the reasons I do landscape photography. This habitat that I'm walking through here has all the elements I need. It's the type of place conducive to experiencing sobby. The beauty here might not be as eye-popping as frosty alpine vistas sparkling in the sun, but here I'm all by myself and taking my time and really settling into a mindful state. I'll talk more about Sabi in future videos. I, lo I just love these these old stumps covered in moss 
these old logs. And in many ways, uh, there's a beauty in these old decaying logs that you don't find uh, in a younger forest. So just have a look at that, eh? That root cr creeping around the side of the, the log there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then in amongst the moss are these little mushrooms. Wow. <laughs> I think I might have a portfolio shot here today. Um, came further into the woods. Um, I'm at a place where there's quite a bit of open space between the trees. Um, so there's lots of debris on the forest floor and lots of old logs with moss on them, which is exactly what I've been looking for. I was, I've been taking pictures for probably an hour and uh, thought I was running out of batteries, but I found one in my pocket that was still okay. And so with my Sony a7R2 and the Irix Dragonfly 150, I have captured uh, an image that I think is, is pretty special. Um, it's a Mycena, one of the little uh, mushrooms that sticks up out of the logs. Um, it's framed the way that I like, but almost never am able to achieve, where there's moss in front of the Mycena and then the green of the forest behind. And so the foreground and the background sort of are this blur of green and uh, and then you have the mushroom sticking up out of the middle of it. So I'll show you the uh, the setup here. It's pretty simple. I came around this log and I was, I was looking at that log right there. Um, and as I came along, I could see one on this log that runs in this direction. And so I looked along there and sure enough, I found one fairly high on the log. I don't know that you'll be able to see it on here. Uh, maybe if I get down low enough, it's right up there towards the top of the log, right, right there. So. I set up my camera and I'll turn it on here. Oh, you can see on there. So you can see that we get that beautiful. There's some, because of the sunlight, there's some uh, color in the, in the sky and so that leads color to the bokeh. There I'm just focusing on, on the on the Mycena there and I'll bump this up so you can see it. There you can see it in the middle of the of the frame. Pretty pretty wonderful shot. Um, two second timer bracketed. This will be too bright probably. Yeah. So when I'm doing this, I, I zoom in with the magnifier right in on the cap of the Mycena and I might even go, I don't know if that one will go, yeah, it'll go even closer. And I really do a fine focus in on that to make sure that it's really sharp and I like to get the nearest edge there we go. The nearest edge of the mushroom in focus. And then with the two second timer, it'll stop any of the shaking. Three brackets. Beautiful. I think I can actually even go darker on that. One of the nice things about the, the large sensor in the A7R2 is that low light recovery can be just amazing. 
Even though it was a sunny day, it was still fairly dark under the canopy. And that was one of the reasons that I purchased the Sony a7R II, was to get that excellent sensor that's in that camera. It's a high megapixel sensor that allows you to pull lots of detail out of the shadows. And so here you can see as we zoom in on this image that there's a uh, really lovely detail in the areas that are sharp and you don't have any noticeable noise in the bokeh. So I'm really pleased with this camera and I recommend it. I'm, I'm feeling that lovely feeling you get after, <laughs> after capturing a, a beautiful scene like that. And then just to be here surrounded by all this green something about greenness <laughs> i find anyways that just is a bomb for the soul it really is and it's very quiet here i can hear the the uh, highway in the distance i can hear some small birds too but they're uh, probably creepers and they're quite a ways away so it's really lovely to have the forest to myself and just drinking in all the beauty. So I'm going to keep going. Uh, there are just bazillions of these mycena everywhere. And uh, there's some mushrooms I, I don't recognize. So I'm going to have to take some pictures just for identification and have a look in my books when I get home. It's a very interesting looking one over on the log over there. Unfortunately, it was really shady. So I don't think I got a very good picture, but um, I'm going to keep looking. You never know what you're going to find. Well, what a successful day that was. I have really enjoyed being out today. Beauty. Beauty is the thing that really does it for me. And these old forests, all this vanilla leaf starting to turn color. Oh, dew drops on things. All this moss. Oh my gosh. It's just gorgeous. I really do love it. And I uh, feel very privileged to be able to get out and enjoy the forest like this when I know lots of people are not able to. So I do really do feel very fortunate to be out on these days. Huh. Such a beautiful place. Yeah, just wherever I look. And of course, all the mushrooms just make it magical. The mushrooms and all this lichen hanging from the trees. And uh, of course, being out on a sunny day helps too. Uh, I know lots of people don't like taking photos in the forest when it's sunny because you get the dappled uh, hot spots. But you know, for me, you also get the color, you get a sense of the depth. Um, yeah, and of course more light too, which, which really does help. Here's a test for the gimbal. These trees here are yew trees. I do love the way they grow under the understory. They're usually covered in all this moss. Really beautiful. Very nice when the sun hits them as well. Here's a stump with a lot of a little mycela, mycena. I do confuse those words. Mycena and mycelia, all the mushroom M words. Wow, what a forest. Hmm. 
making my way back to the car now. Just enjoying the, the smell of the forest. I can smell the moss. I can smell the fungus. Mm, I can smell the wood. Such a glorious smell. I guess that's the the forest bathing that everybody talks about is uh, breathing in all those cannabinoids produced by the trees, by the resins in the, the needles, and, uh, and all the other things that are wafting up off the forest floor. It's a glorious smell, and I, <laughs> I can never get enough of it. Anyways, I hope your day is good and that you're getting out and getting some time in the wilderness for some photos. And we'll see you next time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this.